102.5 FM. This is NE1FM. Listen to the best of sports with Rob Pierce. The police and everything she does is magic on NE1FM. Just after four o'clock, and I'm not alone anymore. Our guests from Gateshead Thunder Rugby League Club have arrived. Uh, if you introduce yourselves, we'll start with the coach, I think. Yeah, good night, Rob. Uh, David Woods. And uh, the two uh, gentlemen with you? Um, Daniel Russell. And uh, Ryan Clark. Good stuff. Um, so, um, uh, we'll start with Dave. Uh, training camp going on, uh, get all the players together for the first time end of the season, Dave. Is that right? Uh, yeah, this weekend. We've just uh, we've just got together for the weekend, just with the players that we've got here in, in the UK at the moment. And um, just to do a little bit of work together. Um, mainly do some video analysis work just so that we can video the boys in training and and then tomorrow we're just doing some more testing that we did previously in October just to see uh, see where they're at and uh, the club uh, last season I think it'd be fair to say had a had a pretty tough time in in National League 2 definitely I would imagine looking to to move forward this year and get a few more victories on the on the scoreboard I would imagine yeah definitely uh, you know I came in last year and um, and the whole aim of the club last year was just to build a base and and we knew that it was going to be tough. We got a fr- the three-year plan, and and we just we wanted last year just to sort of build that base, which we did. And uh, you know we've, we've made remarkable improvements on and off the field this year, so far already. So we're just uh, really keen just to keep that going forward. And if we uh, move to the players, if I can uh, turn to Daniel first of all, uh, Daniel, you've just came over from I believe Penrith. Is that right? Well, I was there a couple of years ago. I come over from a Jim Beam side called Mount Pritchard. Ah, oh, right, okay. So, um, um, what brings you over here? Oh, opportunity. Different level of football. Yeah, definitely, because I, uh, I was thinking if you compare what you're going to experience in, in National League 2 to the NRL, uh, where, the way you were with, with Penrith, there's certainly a, a big difference, I would imagine. Yeah, well, I don't know what to expect yet, so just have to wait and see. Will the physicality be pretty different, do you think? More physical in National League 2, perhaps? Oh, I don't know until I have a game. That's it. Ryan could probably tell us about that. You've been with the club how long, Ryan? Uh, this will be my fifth season. So you've probably seen it in a couple of its guises as it's sort of changed over the years. And uh, I mean, how was morale amongst the squad with uh, last season with, with all the, the defeats that were being posted? Was the morale able to sort of be kept pretty high? It was, it was tough at the back end of the year, but I think start this year everyone's just come. It's just a fresh outset and everyone's just come in the keen to start again and We've brought in a lot of players, training's completely different, so everyone seems to be on a high. And uh, as many pl- players come in uh, during the uh, during the season break, Dave, have we got a few signings that the fans can expect next year? Yeah, we have. We've made a number of, of new signings this year. We've uh, we've kept all the players that we wanted from last year's squad. Sure. And then we've uh, we've added uh, uh, Fiji and international. We've added Daniel. That's you know who's, who's got a lot lot of ability and and played at a high level. So we're we're looking to him to lead us around a bit. And then we've got uh, we've also picked up another um, five players from Australia. Uh, plus really? a couple Five of more from Australia, brilliant. yeah. Plus a couple of the, uh, of UK based players. One Kev uh, Kev Neighbour that played for Gateshead previously, but went to Australia to play last year, and another one that um, that went out to Australia just to to have a run last year as well. That that's based over in the UK. Plus we've picked up a couple of um, couple of uh, West Yorkshire based players that played with Castleford Tigers, and oh, uh, we got them on loan at the end of last year, and um, we've signed them this year as well. Some pretty decent signings if you consider they've gone back up to uh, the Super League, I believe. That's right. So you've managed to poach a couple from a Super League side. So impressive stuff. Yeah, definitely. They, you know, they've, they've both played Super League, and they're both only young fellas. They're only uh, 19 and 20, um, and both of them have got a lot of ability. And uh, Castle, we were lucky that Castleford uh, didn't want to take them up to Super League with them this year, and and they they uh, they wanted to, to sign for us. So they they're both moving up into the area as well, which is a great sign for the club and. And for the league up here in the northeast. Quickly back to Dave. Uh, we found out what brought Daniel over here. Obviously, the Australian accent is very prominent. Uh, what brought you over here then? Well, I came over in 2005 and coached Castlewood Tigers, and uh, and really had a good time down there, and, and enjoyed enjoyed the experience of of living in the UK, of of doing some travelling and and that sort of thing. And uh, when the opportunity came up to come back to Gateshead, I just grabbed it because it's. Uh, you know, it's a really good place over here, and sure. the northeast is a lot different to Castleford and and down that area. But um, it's really been enjoyable so far. So I just 
wanted to experience that and, and bring the family over and, and give them something different as well. And, and the rugby league opportunity is, is, you know, the main reason. Yeah, and I mean, um, even even in rugby league, which up here you would have to concede is is minority sport, but still the passion is there from the fans that do it. Huh? Yeah, exactly. You know, the uh, the fans who have got at Thunder, you know, only small in numbers, but um, you know they they make a lot of noise, and sure. we're just trying to build on that. You know, the, there was a time when you know the Super League was here, and 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 they had you know average crowds of of four, five, six thousand people. So. You know the the rugby league supporters are out there, and and we just need to get them back. and And even if we can get some some football fans across to have a look at us, and and some Falcons fans, and you know just so they can see a different game and and, and just support another team in the northeast. And I would think uh, all roads lead to uh, York away on the third of February in the cup. Now, Dan, is that right? Well, I hope so. I think we'll go down there, play strong, and hopefully come away with a win. Yep, definitely. Um, and. The, the training camp is coming pretty early before the, the start of the season, Ryan, I would think. I mean, two months before, certainly early preparation. It is, yeah, but I think it's needed. We need to get, you know, compared to last year, it was sort of very last minute. And, um, right. like, everyone's ahead of where they were last year, so I think it's going to be beneficial by the time season comes. Certainly a, a stronger squad this time, Dave, you, you would think? Yeah, I think it is. And, and like Ryan just said, you know, last year with me not being appointed till January right. we never started until like the end of January and then played our first games in February so this year you know we've, I've been in place Chris has been in place um, you know as the assistant coach for, for both years now and and we've been able to start training in October um, so you know <clears throat> end, October 28 we got together and so we've we, we got three months on early. well we've got three months on last year so that's a big advantage to sure. us um, and what's what's what was the regular uh, crowd like last season, Ryan? I mean, did it? Uh, what, what sort of crowds? What sort of gates sort of turned up? Oh, it, it varied on depending on who we were playing as well, because a lot of the, the the bigger teams in our in our competition brought like quite a lot of fans up. But like like they've said, look, they're not big in numbers, but who do turn up? They make a lot of noise, and sure. you know they really they really give you a boost when you're down. But hopefully we can. Like sort of introduce a few new, few new supporters into the into the game of rugby league this year. This is what we aim to do: push the team on the show and those that maybe support United and Falcons and anyone else. Give the Thunder a try on a Sunday afternoon. You could do a lot worse than getting down to the Thunderdome as of February. We're right back to the boys in a moment, but we've got more uh, Premiership news for you. Another goal at Old Trafford for Pete Smith to tell us about. It's Manchester United three. Right, uh, back to the boys from Gateshead Thunder. Let's turn to the players. So when you're uh, not uh, training in the bitter wind and rain, uh, what do you like to do away from rugby league, boys? Oh, um, you know, we've, we're training a lot, so we haven't got that much time spare, to be honest. But, um, you know, I've got a girlfriend to keep happy, and uh, <laughs> I like to go to cinema, just, just going out generally. Give you know, her a shout, mate, go on. Hey, you, Jamie, all right? Oh, that's sweet. And so um, the first the first games of the season, Dave. I think that we have the Northern Rail Cup group games, and this is um, four teams to a group, and then what top top two qualify or something? Is that? Well, we got uh, three teams in our group. Three, this year. three in the group. Excuse me. And um, it's the top two that qualify. So we've got uh, York first game, then we play Hunslet at home, and then we play Feverston away. So they're our first three games. You just play a home and away series, and then uh, you progress through in, into the the final stages. Uh, Lake Norwood leading Cheltenham 2-0 in League One, by the way. Featherston, you'll probably know a lot about, Ryan. Uh, played them a couple of times in uh, National League One, National League Two last year, and I think they got promoted, so a tough task in the Northern Rail Cup. It is, yeah. The Northern Rail, when we played them in the Northern Rail, it was... Um, sorry, when we played them at the, in the league, away it wasn't... Um, it, w it was pretty tight, and then they, they scored a few late tries and it's made the, the score and it's flattered them a bit. So, but they're all going to be tough. They got they got promoted last year, and you know they brought in a lot of players. But I think if we go there, just positive positive outset, and just see how we go. And uh, it all starts uh, in February. I think most games are on a Sunday. Is that right, Dave? Yeah, we've got uh, the majority of our home games are on a Sunday. We've got um, I think we've got two or three on a Saturday night, um, and then we've got the Easter, like the Good Friday, Easter Monday games. Uh, one's away, Easter Monday's at home, and then uh, Bank Holiday Monday as well we play away. But uh, the majority of our home games are on a, on a Sunday. On 102.5 FM, this is NE1 FM. 
listen to the best of sports with Rob Pierce.